water potential is an important term when we have to understand the transport of water. But before we use this water potential to understand how it helps or how this transport of water takes place, we need to understand what exactly is water potential. It is represented by a symbol called psi. Now, water potential means potential of water molecule to do some work. If we take these water molecules, these water molecules in a system are continuously moving. That means if these water particles or molecules, they are randomly moving in different directions, that means they have kinetic energy. So moving particles have kinetic energy, so here water will also have kinetic energy. If we take pure water, then that means this is the liquid in which water molecules are maximum. And if they are maximum, they would have maximum energy. If they have maximum energy, the potential to do work would be maximum. So pure water has maximum energy or we can say maximum potential. So when we say potential of water molecule, that means we are talking of water potential. And water potential is represented by psi w and the unit in which it is explained or given is called Pascal written as Pa. So water potential is psi w. Which liquid or in which condition will the water potential be maximum when water is pure? And the water potential of pure water is taken as maximum it is maximum and is taken as zero. That means pure water has maximum potential. The reason for having maximum potential is because all particles are of water, all molecules are of water, they have maximum energy. It is only water, so they have maximum energy, maximum potential. In other words, if we say that if water is not pure, that means something is dissolved in it, water potential is going to be less than this. That means water potential of solutions is always less than zero. So water potential of a solution or any solution will be, will be less than zero. That means it is going to be minus. So if we say if we add something into it, it is no longer pure water. So it can be minus one or minus two and so on. So solutions always have water potential less than zero. Maximum is going to be in case of pure water. Now when we talk of factors that affect water potential, there are actually three. One, solute. Two, pressure. And three, gravity. Gravity is negligible. It has negligible effect. To, so we can ignore it or avoid it in this present discussion because it is anyways not affecting water potential substantially. Solute. It is written as solute potential. And pressure is also a factor. It is written as pressure potential. If solute concentration increases, water potential is going to decrease. We said pure water has maximum water potential. Now, if we add some solute in A, it becomes a solution. That means available water molecules are becoming less. So their potential is going to be less. That means if solute potential increases, water potential decreases. That means it has a negative effect on it. Pressure potential, 
if pressure potential increases water potential also increases that means it has a positive effect on it and as we said gravity has negligible effect so we are not counting on it so now if we write the equation that is water potential is equal to the effect caused by solute concentration and the pressure potential so this is our equation which we get when we want to calculate the water potential and water potential is always dependent on how many water molecules are available and if the number is more they would have more energy if the number is less they would have less energy and water will always move from a region of higher water potential to lower water potential again to understand this say we have two compartments here water potential is higher here water potential is lower before we actually understand the movement in which direction or from which compartment to which compartment we need to know what we are talking about when we say higher water potential that means the potential of water molecules is more or we can say here water molecules are more in number as compared to the other compartment and we know water moves from the region of its higher concentration to its lower concentration so water will move from the region of higher water potential to lower water potential so this is also a very very important thing that is water moves from higher water potential to from higher water potential to lower water potential region these are all important things and this is the most important thing that we have to remember when we talk of transport of water because when we talk of these from one cell to another we will have to see which cell has higher water potential which one has lower because that will help in the movement of water molecules now the next important term which we want to discuss is dpd that is diffusion pressure deficit